Our farming spot, our grinding spot is gone. There is no more Draco. So you guys clicked on this video hoping to find out where the new go-to spot is in Warframe to level all of the things as fast as you can. Well, I'm not gonna tell you. Here, have a look at this sexy cavat instead. Meow, 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 meow. Hey, what's up guys? How you all doing? Okay, so Draco is gone. A cause for cheers for some of us and tears for others. Our leveling ground, a mission node that we could run easily and level any frame or weapon in one run. It's no longer what it once was. Draco itself was a medium sized intercept tile set. One which let us stay relatively close to each other to gain shared affinity with teammates. But the powers that be decided that Draco had become a problem and changed it into a low level survival mission. So that's why you're here right now, not for the pretty cavats, even though they are goddamn gorgeous. Okay, then there are a few missions now being called the new Draco, but which ones are good or not? Is it Berahenia? Is it Avoid Survival? Is it Eris Akkad? Or is there a better place for us to level everything really quickly? I am going to leave a link to an older video of mine that goes into better detail about leveling as quick as possible and what to equip and what not to equip that I made three months ago. So the link is in the description for that. In that video, I mentioned a few mission nodes that I enjoyed running and Draco was one of those, but it's no longer the place to go. So where do I go now? One of the other missions I mentioned in that video three months ago was the Dark Sector on Eris called Akkad. It is an infested defense mission. It has been my go-to mission for solo pub leveling for a pretty long time because public players tend to stay for 20 waves on a CAD more so than to do on other missions so you will level a lot faster. A CAD like I said is also a really small infested defense tile set that allows you to stay close to each other and gain that shared affinity without really trying to. Bring a speed nova along and it's a really quick 20 waves. It is still my go-to mission like I've said for solo leveling in random groups and I will probably stay that way unless they change it as well. Now, the other missions being called the new Draco right now are Berahenia on the planet Sedna. It is also an intercept mission, but it's on a much larger tile set than Draco. It's actually one of the conclave tile sets, and because of its size, it means you will need to stack close to each other to gain that bonus shared affinity, which means either spamming abilities and not moving. It feels a lot slower also to level than it did on Draco. And I'm really not a fan of stacking in missions. I find it boring as fuck. It's like hallway camping in some of the old void survivals. It is effective, but it is just really, really boring. But like everything in this game, it is entirely up to you guys how you play and how you want to level. So if that sounds appealing to you or faster to you, then by all means, go for it. Now, another mission worth checking out and probably in my eyes better than Berahenia is one of the new Void Intercept missions called Mithra, which is a level 40 to 45 mission. And because of those high levels that you start out with and because of the heavy unit spawns, you will gain affinity pretty damn fast. But beware, the enemies can hit hard enough if you don't have a decent weapon off frame to carry you through the four waves or so needed for you to max out. If you slow cap all of the points and they stay in between B and D, you will have a decent enough line of sight of all of the other points for you not to fail the mission. So I would probably run this node before I would run Berahenia because it seems like a lot more fun and it doesn't feel as large and it also just seems easier to manage and not as boring. However, as good as both of these nodes are, Berahenia and Mithra, I'm probably going to stick to Akkad for public matches, but also when leveling, I would prefer to kill two boards with one stone and also get resources, uh, relics, fusion cores, and so on. Kind of maximize the farming, I guess, as well as gaining all of that affinity. So for that, I would run Hierakon, which is a dark sector on Pluto with my friends, as it is a great mission node for gaining all kinds of resources, rewards like relics, fusion cores, cryotic. It is an infested excavation mission, which is relatively easy to run and like I said you can kill two boards with one stone by gaining all of those fusion cores and relics as well. So in summary the mission nodes I will be running will be a CAD on Eris for when I'm running solo public missions and for group leveling it will probably be Hierakon on Pluto and maybe Mithra in the void as well. Mithra is probably the best right now in my eyes because of the starting level of enemies 
but Hyrakon has got all of those goodies and Berahenia is, I guess it's okay, it just it feels really fucking boring when I ran it and I didn't enjoy it one little bit. Now let me know what other missions you guys have been running to level your frames as fast as possible with the new star chart. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you don't. Subscribe for more Warframe and as always, thanks very much for watching.